Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, it's me, Ice Music. Welcome to my political life video vlog. And guess what? Here's a little bit of, of your school days, college campus craziness, if you know what I'm saying. Here's your worst nightmare. According to the Blaze, Blaze.com says Duke professor ha has to resign after being disciplined for criticizing a totalitarian totalitarian anti uh, you guessed it the R word training I have no observation whatsoever so here's how it happens a professor at Duke Divinity School has re has been resigned after being facing disciplinary action, disciplinary actions for calling an anti-racism program. Oh Lord, have mercy upon us! Intellectually flags it, among all the things. Oh boy, this could be worse. Professor Paul Griffiths. He was 61 years old and who teaches Catholic theology at the North Carolina Bay School has been resigned from his post affected next year according to the news Ob news and observer website mm -hmm. so um here it is so what's the story I'll tell you what's the story here's why all of this arose out of Griffith's controversial comments that were being were first revealed, according to the the, um, the Ameri American conservators, the um, American conservatives, Rod Dreher has published published in a, a string of emails, and um, you can check this out for yourself for the the American American conservative .com and take it from there and see what you think now speaking of string, strings of emails I'll tell you what happens it began in February Fe yeah February and why because um, why because when Duke administration invited all divinity school faculties to participate in the what you guessed it oh lord equity training for two days days why do i ever now anathea Port portier young she's a young she's young she's a professor associate professor of the Old Testament meant you know it came from the Bible from the Old Testament and all that because it responds to this to it responds to this message saying to those who have taken the course before describes before describes i.e. quote this described it as transform transformative powerful and life-changing and everybody believes that you know she will she says that she believes it will have have great dividends for our community give me community give me one of your reasons why what kind of div dividends of our community look like give me one good reason why I don't believe this is gonna be the worst this is gonna be the worst. So here, here's, here's, here's the best part if you know what I'm talking about. Griffith, though, had a diff, it has an entirely different idea of perspective, and that's why he describes this, the training as a waste of time, in an email that went out. All faculty members, quote this. I, ex I exhort you not to attend this training. Uh, Griffin wrote this um, February 6th, according to Dreher. 
says, lay, don't lay, what? Waste your time. Uh -huh. Uh, waste your time by doing so. It'll be, I predict, with confidence and intellectual flaccid. There'll be prom properties, glitches, and amen corners, raw, 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 yeah, in plenty. Well, now he continues with this. If it, when it when it gets to the bottom of this, when it when it gets beyond that, its illiberal roots and totalitarian tendencies will show. The events of this sort are definitely anti-intellectual. Intellectual. Oh my goodness. Now. Just a few few days later, or a few few just a few hours later, Elaine Heath, the school's dean, tried to rebuke Griff, Griffiths for daring to criticizing the training in such an open form. Oh Lord have mercy! So what comes next? In an email of her own that never. Uh, uh, never spe specifically mentions Griffith, and that's why he, that's why Elaine wrote this. It is in an inappropriate and unprofessional to use mass emails like this to make disparaging statements, including arguments and hom hominem. In well, in an order to humil humiliate and undermine the in individual colleagues or, uh, or groups of colleagues whom, with whom we disagree. Well, guess what? The use of mass. She's continuing going on and on and on. Now, you don't want to know about this. The use of mass emails to express, oh, Lord have mercy upon us, the R word. <laughs> <laughs> stands for okay okay <laughs> the r word and sexism yeah yeah and other forms of bigotry is offensive and unacceptable it, especially in a christian inst institution like us christians but according to this email because he because elaine eventually requests a meeting with griffith to have a have a sit down to ever whether it to whether we can we can agree or disagree. It never happens. It happens. Now, in a follow up email detaining the situation, Griffiths claimed that intellectual freedom, freedom that means freedom to speak and write without fear. Of discipline and punishment. Punishment. Uh, yeah, that's right. And it's under pressure at Duke Divinity, Duke Divinity University. And these with these days. And that's why he went went on to write that he has been subjected with two separated discipline discipline discipline. Uh, uh, oh, I cannot pronounce this word. Discipline dis proceedings. Now, um, Portia Young has filed a harassment, have a complaint against Griffiths, which was, you guessed it, investigated by Duke's Office of Institute. Is the institutional equity. In addition to yeah, he has been banning him from participating in faculty meetings. And why? Because he said he would no longer receive research, search or travel funding. That could be the worst thing you ever seen in everybody's entire life. <clears throat> 
life. Now, you knew, you know it and I know that that Griffith's called call the shots, taking against him, nothing more than reprisals to discipline him expressing an, an opi a different opinion for, from this um, administration. <clears throat> Quote this, Duke Divinity is now a place in which too many thoughts can't be spoken and too many disagreements remain veiled because of fear. And he wrote on, I commend and re renunciation. Re a fear based on discipline, yes, to those who deploy an advocate. Yes. And its replacement with confidence in speech. He's right. Confidence in speech. You know. Now, Thomas. Uh, Thomas Foe has been, yeah, he, he's the member of Duke Divinity uh, School faculty for 26 years, and he wrote an email that he feels fundamentally in agreement with Griff, Griffins, with Griffiths, and that is why he describes the schools. School is, school is, you know who, intelligible asylum. And, you know, any academic unit, here's the, fu here's the final line, final one, if you know what I'm saying. Any ac academic unit, DDS including, can only flourish if differences of opinion on any variety of subjects that respect and engage on their in intrinsic merits. Tom, and, that, and he goes on. Having reviewed Paul Griffith's notes several times, I find nothing, find nothing in it that could remote to be said, expressed, yeah, you guessed that the R word, and so is sexism and other forms of bigotry. The moral of this political life video, video vlog story is this. This, this has Thomas concluded with this, with this notion. To suggest anything of the sort strikes me as either gravelly imperceptive or as intellectual intellectual dishonest honest take that people learning Catholics even now say so who knows you be the judge thank you Thomas <laughs> you too Paul Graffitz don't let it go through your head from now on. Don't even listen what that, that everybody says from now on. <sighs> well, I guess you teach a dog a new tricks, don't we? But anyways, that's my political life video blog story. And I'm sticking to it.